children, are you ready for the next part of the story? It's getting very exciting. Do you remember what Saucepan's mother told the children to remember? She said, don't step into a ring drawn on the ground in chalk. Don't stroke any black cats with green eyes and don't be rude to anyone at all. We'll remember, said Jo. Thank you very much. Cheer up, Connie. You'll soon get your voice back. The next day it was raining and Mother didn't want the children to go up the tree. But Connie's eyes filled with tears and Mother saw how badly she wanted to go. Well, put on your raincoat, she said, and take umbrellas. Then you'll be all right. It may not be raining in the land of enchantments. And do remember what Mrs. Saucepan said. Be very careful. We'll be careful, said Joe, putting on his old raincoat. No treading in chalk rings, no stroking of black cats with green eyes, and no rudeness from anyone. There they go with their raincoats and umbrellas to the borrowing tree. Saucepan and Silky were at Moonface's house waiting for the children to come. Is the land of enchantments up there, said Joe, nodding his head towards the top of the tree. It must be, said Silky. I've met two witches and two enchanters coming down the tree today. They don't live here, so they must have come from the land of enchantments. Joe turned to Saucepan. Did your mother give you a powerful spell to take with you, Saucepan? in case we get caught in an enchantment. Oh, oh, groaned Saucepan, beginning to look all around him in a hurry. Where did I put that spell? Silky, have you seen it? What did I do with it? Oh, you really are a silly Saucepan, said Silky, looking everywhere. You know it's a spell that can move about. It's no use putting it down for a minute because it will move off somewhere. At last the spell was found. It was a funny round red spell with little things that stuck out all around it, rather like spider's legs. It could move about with these and had walked off Moonface's shelf and settled itself down at the edge of the slippery slip. Oh no. Look at that said Saucepan, snatching it up quickly. Another inch and it would have been gone down the slippery slip and disappeared forever. Where shall I put it for safety? Put it in a kettle and put the lid on, said Joe. So into a kettle went the spell and the lid was put on as tightly as could be. It's safe now, said Saucepan. Come on, let's go up and be careful, everybody. spell so I'm going to leave it there and I will join you next time to find out what happens bye